Hey guys, Tom here, and in this video today I want to show you kind of how installing a Realism Mod 3.0 map works, how that's like a little bit different from the Realism Mod 2.2, or maybe how it's a lot different, I guess you could say. Because um, how 2.2 would work is all of the maps and the stats and the progress within the mod were kind of self-contained within your Activision mod folder area. But that isn't, that really isn't possible with the Realism Mod version 3.0. Because what happens is if you have two or three or four maps that have the Realism Mod 3.0 on it, in your mods folder, when you load up one of those maps, it starts trying to read files from all of them, all the maps that have the Realism Mod on it. Um, and then it, it just, it, it bugs out, glitches out, it causes problems. And um, so just, so saving your progress, up until a few months ago, uh, wasn't even possible, like saving your progress from one map to the next. So what was going to happen is you'd like level up from like zero to 10 on, on like the Nuketown map. And then you wanted to go play Industrial Estate. So you'd load up that map. And what would happen is you'd be um, at zero. You have like no progress because you hadn't leveled up on that map. But one of the things that I wanted to make sure happened was that that Blunt Stuffy was able to get it, and, and actually um, UGX Tremonor was integral on getting this to work for us. Um, developing a, a system, any system at all, um, no matter how cumbersome, I guess you could say, uh, that would allow the progress from map to map to be saved. Um, because that's one of the great things about the realism mod is you feel like you're making progress and you, Then and your progress is being saved So when you go on to play a different map you just pick up where you left off and that's such a wonderful experience It makes you feel like the time you've spent on a map actually means something and um, so that was very important for us to do so the way we did it is um, Tremoner wrote um, uh, uh, like a, a little like launcher for us that would that each map would would be a, an auto installer there you go that each map would be auto installed um, like when you wanted to play a new map and I'll show you what it, how it works so essentially what it what it's gonna do and I'm gonna show you guys here is you'll have to keep like a, a folder with all the realism mod maps and right now there's there's just two um, there'll be a, a greenhouse one before long, but just for the sake of showing this, um, this is how it's going to work. So somewhere on your desktop or in a folder, keep a, a folder that has the realism mod maps on there. And right now here's industrial estate and nuketown. So I want to play industrial estate. Well, I'm going to have to like load that one, open that up, and it's going to go through its installation process. Okay, and it finishes. And then I can go into Call of Duty World at War, and I'll show you that. And so here I am inside World at War, and I've got one that says New Realism on it. And so I'm gonna select that and launch it. And then here we go, here's the the main menu screen for the industrial estate. I click on that to launch it. Activision. All right, here we go. And then the map's starting and you can begin to choose what you want to do. You know, accept your character class and all that good stuff. And then your game begins. So now I want to go play the other map, and I want to save my progress that I've made, so I'm on level 33. Yes, delightful. I want to save my progress. So I quit out of here. And then I go into my Realism Maps folder, and I install the Nuketown one. Now, like I said, I, it, it may be a bit cumbersome. It may be a little bit annoying to have to install 
each map at the same time, but guys, this was like the only way we could get this to work. So I hope it's not too much trouble for you to, to keep a little folder with the, the maps off to the side somewhere and just to do this each time you want to play one of these maps. So now let's, with that, let me go ahead and open up World of War just to show you that it's switched. All right, and I select the new realism map again and it should switch over and here we have new realism mod on nuketown so i just load this one up and here we go so that's pretty cool just to Again, you select everything. As you can see, I'm still at level 33. It's allowed me to keep my progress on everything. And I could play the Realism mod from where I left off. I get to play it on a different map. So this will work for every map that has the new Realism mod version 3.0 on it. All of your stats, all of your progress, and everything will be able to save from map to map. Hopefully people make a few more maps for this mod. I hate to see all this work go into this mod and, and people not really utilize it, but we'll try and make it as easy as, as possible for people to put it on their maps. Um, you know, maybe new maps they create, maybe if they still have their old map files, they could try and find a way to, to put it on, on older maps that they've created, but just a way to keep this zombie realism experience alive. And if, guys, if you're anything like me, you just I just love the old version of the realism mod. And now with new guns, new perks, um, a whole bunch of new unlockable things, I just hope that more people make maps for this and this can live on um, for at least a little while, even though Black Ops 3 is coming out. I, I just don't think Black Ops 3 is, is, um, is as good as this. It might look better, but as far, as far as features, I don't think it's there yet guys with this so I don't think it can compete so that, this is a lot of fun so that's just my video showing you guys how to do it like I said you're gonna have to just install each map that you want to play install it and then if you want to play a different map then you have to install that one on top of um, the, the previous map but all your stats will save so that guys um, Thank you very much. I hope it's not like I said, I hope it's not too too much of a pain, but this is what we had to do to make this work and it works and we're super excited. So, all right guys, talk to you later.